Hey everyone, today we are going to see detailly about people born in Punarvasu. It's also called as Punarpusam or Punartam. Punarvasu is the seventh star in the entire stars of Kalapurusha. It has first, second and third pada in Gemini and fourth pada in Cancer. Gemini is ruled by Budhan that is Mercury. Cancer in turn is ruled by Chandran that is Moon. So, if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, please do subscribe it and click the bell button next to it to get notified when we upload a new video. General characteristic of Punarvasu in both Gemini and Cancer will be mostly similar but still they may vary slightly as the lots of their respective Rasi is different. Mostly, people in Punarvasu that comes under Gemini are slightly knowledged person. They focus more on mental activities and imagination. Whereas, the people born in Punarvasu, which comes under the cancer, will focus on nurturing their spirit and will tend to help the needy peoples. Mostly, they have slightly confused minds. The thing which I have stated are only based on their Rasi rulers. Now, let's see the characteristic of people born in Punarvasu star. According to DNA astrology, Punarvasu is basically ruled by Guru, that is Jupiter, and has karmic registry of Shani, that is Saturn. Punarvasu is a famous star as it is stated in mythology that the Lord Rama was born in Punarvasu star. Punarvasu has a symbol of bow and a quiver which is filled with arrows. In mythology, it is stated that Lord Rama had an arrow which when used to attack a target, it attacks the target and then again returns back to Lord Rama, just like a boomerang. So, you should follow that in your life also. If you wish or desire for a particular thing, release that voluntarily and it will reach again to you automatically but still it takes time. For example, Rama sacrificed his kingdom or his position as a king and returned to forest. But irrespective of its time, Rama again became a king in the same kingdom. You should learn to do the same thing. Whatever you desire, either love or care or any material needs, just leave those things. Don't worry. Regarding any factor, if you do a hard work and have a complete faith, one day you will get again all those things which you desired. If your Lagna is in Punarvasu or Chandran that is Moon in Punarvasu or your Lagna Adipadi that is Lagna Loud is in Punarvasu, you can match yourself to the things which I am going to state now. The things which I am going to state will match you 70 to 80 percent only. Other things may vary based on other planets influence in your horoscope. I have already mentioned that the people born in Punarvasu have karmic registry of Shani that is Saturn. So, the people born in Punarvasu will have family members that is both your mother and your father side. Your entire lineage will have people who have lost life suddenly and earlier or people who are lived a longer life or handicapped peoples or people who got fractured uh, in their hands or legs. So, you would have family members in either of the things which I have stated. People born in Punarvasu face difficulties in getting a job. If not, they may face lots and lots of difficulties in the job they do. You will attain success only after a greater hard work. Most of the work gets postponed continuously. The postponement can occur by various reasons, but in most of the cases, it would have been you who would have postponed the work. But you would blame others for the postponement. Yet you doesn't know that. You doesn't complete any work on time or you doesn't uh, take a particular uh, decision or a required decision at a particular time. You just blame others that because of them have delayed this work or postponed that work. All these delays may affect your job and also your life. The best amount or parigara that you can do is avoid those delays. Try to take a decision before the timeline. Try completing every work earlier. People born in Punarvasu are a bit lazy, so try to change that. Be active always. Wake up early. Start doing uh, some exercise. Uh, make yourself active by doing any sorts of jobs which you like. Try to help handicapped peoples or lower grade peoples who themselves uh, do jobs like uh, garbage cleaning or drainage cleaning. 
very poor people or people who works below you these people are actually considered as a form of shani so try to help them provide their material deeds that is possible for you that is you can provide them with a food money medicine or any other material needs that they required based on your capacity provide your care to those people and also respect those people's you could also give your care and respect to your coworkers since i have stated that punarvasu symbol is above and a cover with arrows have a picture of those in your living or office areas or even in your mobile or laptop has a wall screen so you can watch it regularly these may help you remember a fact that like how an arrow attacks its target precisely and fastly you should complete your work fast and accurately please be careful if you involve yourself in insurance business shani doesn't have a particular job field but still uh, you could involve yourself in uh, jobs that involve iron and steel oil petrol coal gas mines ink irrespective of your job field you should be active and make correct decision within the required time and be faithful to your job avoid doing any bad deeds in your job you should be faithful in the jobs or business you involve yourself with shani will provide you with a greater benefit and help you attain a greater heights but all will happen pretty late with your hard work and your faithfulness shani helps us to know the importance of a particular job and then only he will provide you with the required benefits the spiritual amends that you can do are visit and worship lord rama on punarvasu star day you can also visit anjaneya temple on saturdays and worship him since you have karmic registry of shani you could also visit tirunallar on punarvasu star day and take a bath in nalathita you shouldn't leave your wet clothes in the water and spoil the environment instead donate those wet clothes to any poor people who are staying near the temple after taking bath in nalathita go and visit lord shiva and pray to lord shiva and then visit sanishwarar and worship him make sure you stay at the temple for at least an hour you could do archana or simply light a diva and stay in the temple premises after your visit to the temple please directly go to your home please avoid staying in your relatives or your friends house make sure you doesn't light any divas with sesame seeds if you burn or light the sesame seeds you may again add bad karmic effect of saturn in turn you could donate sesame seeds or sesame oil to poor peoples you can also visit and worship any guardian or protecting deities or ferocious deities let me tell you a simple trip try to chant om sham shanai sharaya namaha for one or eight times daily if you find that difficult to chant you can at least chant om sham for one or eight times or at least om om for one or eight times daily since punarvasu is in north side you could face that direction and chant the mantras daily one or eight times you could chant any of those mantras try to chant these mantras at the night anybody can chant these mantras these will help you to get positive impact from sunny or saturn you can also have a picture of rama and anjaneya in your living or working space and watch it regularly make yourself active by doing exercise walking running jogging or any yogas like pranayama and surya namaskara whichever is possible for you punarvasu people or also have the ability to work in foreign countries you would get chances to work in a foreign countries but those can be achieved only by your hard work i hope you have liked the video if so please click the like button and share it with your family and friends if you find the infos very useful thank you so much